Spencer kind of raised uh, a concept that was uh, created by, or that was uh, popularized by Naomi Klein, who wrote The Shock Doctrine and, dis about, and about disaster capitalism. Are people familiar with that term? No. So there's all kinds of crises in the world, and that um, um, the wealth the wealthy corporations are looking at them as opportunities, opportunities to make profit. So right now, the current economic crisis that we're facing, the recession, um, the the corporations have, or the, uh, the conservatives have been able to shift the ball. What we need to do is we need to put people back to work. The causes of the economic crisis and the deficit were the tax cuts for the wealthy, the economic downturn, which was caused by financial speculation, and excessive military spending. Those were the causes. But what is the prescription that is being uh, foisted on us? Austerity. Cut spending. Not so much military spending, but spending on programs for the poor. So this crisis is being used at, to, as, a, as an excuse to privatize uh, new sectors of the economy so they can be profit centers, cut social programs so that uh, more money can become profit centers and, less, and, and reduce taxes further, and attack unions. So those, so the, so the crisis is being used to further this radical agenda. Um, I want to share a couple of quotes by some economists that talk about you know, this approach. Paul Krugman, the winner of the Nobel Prize in Economics and Princeton professor of economics warned, the worst thing you can do in these circumstances is to slash government spending, since that will depress the economy even further. Pay no attention to those who invoke the confidence theory, claiming that tough action on the budget will reassure business and consumers, leading them to spend more. It doesn't work that way, a fact confirmed by many studies of the historical record. And here's a comment by uh, Lawrence Michel, president of the Economic Policy Institute. This, this was before the debt ceiling debate. This proposed debt ceiling deal tentatively concludes a needless manufactured crisis and will do great harm to our nation. The debt we are undertaking now and scheduled to undertake over the next 10 years is solely the product of past decisions, primarily unfunded wars and unfunded prescription drug benefits and two rounds of tax cuts under <laughs> President George Bush. The re recession-related revenue loss caused by the finance and the recession-related re revenue costs caused by the financial crisis. And who can name me the leader who said this about the uh, budget deal or the deficit deal? This is a sugar-coated Satan sandwich. <laughs> if you lift the bun, you will not like what you see. This debt deal is antithetical to everything the great religions of the world teach, which is to take care of the poor, aged, and vulnerable. Next part, try to get rid of him now. <laughs> yeah, he'll go down in history. Don't vote him out. He told the truth. <laughs>